This video will show you how to configure and set up Holiday Coro seed pixel matrices in X-Lights or similar applications. All these are models and they can be downloaded from holidaycore.com forward slash models. Search for the item code 301, 302, 304, or you can just search for 300 and get all of them. All right, now we've got several different models here and you can create this yourself without having to download it just by going up here and then dragging them out and configuring the appropriate settings. So you do not need these models if you just want to set them up yourself. Uh, but again, if you wish to download them, these are again available just by downloading. All right, so first we're going to start off with a physical layout of these products. So I'm going to select our one inch spacing and that's why it says 301, one is the spacing. And I'm going to say wiring view and I'm going to move it over to front view instead of rear view, which is the default in X lights. And um, this is what the panel would look like if you were standing directly in front of the pixels. The blue dot is where your inputs will start. And you can see in this particular panel, we sell it as one physical panel that is 45 inches wide by nine inches tall. And it has 48 pixels wide and 10 pixels tall. All right, we have two green blue dots. So that means that we have two inputs. And so there are two physical connections. These each then run 240 pixels, which means you could usually just hook this whole thing up to one output on this output and one on this. So for this section or panel, you will need two outputs to drive the pixels here. Now, in terms of orientation, you can uh, take this horizontal panel, which is its default orientation, and you can add additional panels below that. Let's look at how you would do that with a one inch panel. Here we have a sample panel that is again uh, 48 inches, uh, 49 inches wide, and this time we're going to use four of those panels stacked together. Now if we compare this panel against the standard panel, which is just one panel, we will see that there are two outputs or strings, 250 pixels total and five pixels per strand. Now again, it's 10 pixels tall, so it's two times five. And Xlight's just doing the math there for you. So what do we do if we wanna make this panel larger? We simply just increase the number of outputs and say, hey, we're gonna have eight outputs, which is four panels. So this is now more equivalent to a four by eight type unit. So if we now look at this and we say wiring view and we view from the front uh, for clarity and we will now see that we need eight outputs. So you see these eight blue dots. And if we zoom in here, you'll see that we all we've done is just simply snap stacked these particular uh, panel. So these first two panels, these first dots, so the yellow and white are the first physical panel, yellow, white, second panel, and these would all snap together to form one large panel that's again 45 inches um, roughly almost by eight feet. Okay now let's look at our two inch panel. So by default again wiring view, let's now look at that from the front side right click front and expand that out for clarity. Uh, what we can see is this panel comes shipped again in 45 inches wide by nine inches tall and I'm sorry uh, by 18 inches tall and it is two inch spacing so hence the two in the 302 and you have 24 pixels across and we have 10 pixels tall. So again, that's 240 pixels. Um, and this is basically the same physical space as the one inch, except for now we have double the number of pixels, not only horizontally, but vertically. All right, um, so with that, again, you could stack multiple panels. You could put additional two inch panels below this and then create a panel going down. Now let's look at our final panel. This is a four inch spacing panel. And this panel, let's flip it around so it's on the front. So this is front view. And again, the connector starts at the top. Uh, I will say you can flip this around if you wish to up, do this upside down so that the connector is maybe, let's say down here at the bottom where your, uh, where your 
input is, maybe your controller or something, you can flip that around, just do that in X lights. But in the default orientation, we have one inch, I mean, four inch spacing. And this particular panel is 74 inches tall by 54 inches wide and it has a total of as you can see down here 300 pixels starts up here goes back and forth back and forth now what happens if you want to use them instead of in a horizontal configuration you wish to use them in a vertical configuration and why would you do that let's say that you want some 9 inch wide by 45 inch tall or maybe you just put two 45 inch tall panels on top of each other uh, to go up let's say a column in that particular case you're now going to have a vertical panel so let's look at the difference between these so first you'll see that the direction is changed to vertical and the location is changed to bottom left so let's compare this against our normal panel here so this is 48 going across horizontally we'll see it's still two, con two, two connectors or two strings, 240 pixels. In this case, five strands per string, which 10 total. And we're top left. This has a swipe change. Again, still two strings, still 240 pixels per string, still five strands a string. And this time we start at the bottom left with vertical orientation. So let's look at that in the actual wiring view. So let's go ahead and grab that and we'll then change this to front view so now we're starting at the bottom we've basically just turned our panel uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise and now we're starting here going up down up down and then you can see our second input starts here again still 240 pixels with two strings and you could add a second matrix above this um, it would then just be a second one with the connector starting up here and up here. Um, so we have these vertical panels here and we have them here and we have them here. So hopefully this has been helpful in understanding how you can easily utilize the seed pixel matrices from Holiday Coral.